Well, I grew up near Chicago, which is hop, skip, and a jump away from here. Uh, my grandparents are in central Illinois, which is very close to Indiana, and the, every year, the day after Thanksgiving, my grandma would want to go to the big city mall, which was in Terre Haute. Ooh. <laughs> that was a big city to her. Um, some of our extended family is in Brazil, Indiana, and some mm -hmm. of the you know surrounding wow. areas. So I'm very familiar with small town Indiana and Illinois, and it all feels very much like mm -hmm. home. Um, but I've always been a Midwesterner. I've, I've lived in the Chicago area and Champaign, Illinois mm -hmm. for quite a while, Green Bay, Wisconsin, and Des Moines, Iowa. So I'm just making a tour of the Midwest, <laughs> but it is that the people are so welcoming and it just it just feels like home. You know what, I want to be part of a community. Mm -hmm. um, I've, I'm from the Washington, D.C. area. I was born in Baltimore, grew up between both cities. I didn't want a city too large. Mm -hmm. I've been in that environment. I didn't want a city too small. I wanted a city that had energy and a pulse to it, but also had that kind of hometown feel too, to make me feel welcome and Inviting. I like to talk, I love people, and I want to be in a place that likes people too. And I feel comfortable yeah. and I feel welcomed. And so that's the big reason why Indianapolis, I think, is the absolute perfect fit. Plus, I'm back to the Colts. So that's the team I rooted for when I was little, and I'm back to cheering for them again. And I, I just cannot wait to go to a game.